In this video, I want to talk about quirks in JavaScript when it comes to defining objects, defining properties, and accessing those properties. So first, you know the basic uh, gist of it, right? When you try to create a simple object, just a JavaScript object, you just say, okay, well, here's the property name and then the value. I just have two values that are both strings, doesn't really matter. And if I just want to, for example, access them, I just say person dot name, right? If I try to uh, run this, I'm going to get test. So that's the value inside our person of name. Correct. But there's another way you can actually access the name. And that is without the dot notation, you can use the bracket notation and put the name inside quotes. This would be equivalent to the previous example, right? We would still get test as the result. So that's, that's also correct. So let's say that instead of name and age and any other string here, we want to actually use a number literal. So we want to say the property six has the value, I don't know, let's say test two, so that I'm not going to actually give it another, another number, right? How can we actually access that? Well, we can do the same with the, we know that we can use the square bracket notation here. So you can say just six here. And if I try to run this, You'll notice we get test two, so that's correct. That's nice. But um, what happens if I try to use the dot notation here? If I say dot six, well, I'm going to get an error. And that error basically says that I cannot use the dot notation simply because six is not an identifier. What's an identifier? Basically anything that can be defined as a, a variable name. So if I were to be able to do let six equals test two, then the dot notation would actually work in this case. But since uh, six cannot be defined this way, since it's just a number literal, you cannot actually do, uh, you can actually use the dot notation. Okay, so in this case, you are, you are going to be forced to use the uh, square bracket notation. You might also know that when defining objects, you can also, instead of just using the uh, property, you can also surround it with uh, quotes, or double quotes. So I can say just inside quotes name, and whenever I'm trying to access it, even with or without dot notation, I can still do so, and it would be equivalent. But there are some cases that actually require you to use this uh, quote notation. Such cases uh, include when you have, for example, a property that has a number, so it starts with a number and then it uh, requires you to add a string, for example, just some characters that say six, um, I don't know, six points, right? If I, if I do have such a property, you'll notice I even get an error inside the editor here, but let's try to actually run it. Well, node gives us the error that it's an unexpected token. We shouldn't be able to use, um, to have six, or to have a string after six. That's basically the same reason as with the dot notation, right? In this case, six points is not an actual valid identifier. If I were to define a variable that's called six points, let six points, you'll notice I would also get an error. So that wouldn't actually be valid. But there are some exceptions when defining it inside an object. If you have just a literal number, you're actually allowed to do so. It's a sort of exception when defining um, objects. But when you're trying to use dot notation, that is not allowed, that exception doesn't really apply. Right? So when you have identifiers that have the start with a number and have after it uh, actual characters from a string, you have to actually uh, surround it with um, quotes. And of course, when accessing it, you're going to have to also use the bracket notation. So I'm going to have to say six points here. And when I'm trying to run this, you notice it now works. So as a property name, this is actually valid, but in just certain cases, just certain notations are allowed in that case. It has to do with the uh, language's syntax. One more thing when using property accessors that few people know about is that uh, a type coercion to string actually happens whenever you're using a non string uh, value inside the brackets here. So if I were to do, for example, let's say we have the property um, 
6.0. Just 6.0. If I were to actually try to access this property, just saying 6.0, you would expect it to work, right? You have basically the person that has the property 6.0 and have the value test too. And that's, that's a valid number. So it doesn't require uh, single codes. So it should work, right? But if we actually try to run this, you'll notice we get undefined. That's kind of peculiar. Why do we get undefined? Why is that? Well, that has to do with type coercion. Whenever JavaScript sees a, uh, a property that is not actually a string, that is just a, a number literal, for example, it's going to try to coerce this into a string. And what does it do to do so? Well, you might notice that if I try to console log 6.0, 6 uh, console log will automatically uh, convert this to a string, right? So if I try to run this, you'll notice I get just six. That means that the property inside person is not actually 6.0 as a string, it's actually six also as a string. So we should actually access it like so, right? And when we're trying to do this, you'll notice that now we actually get the proper value, right? So if you really need to actually have properties such as this, like 6.0, you should always uh, surround them with quotes, right? Most of the time, if you actually have anything, anything different than an identifier, right? If you have, for example, name two, that's fine. But you have two and then the string name as the property. Well, you should always actually surround it with quotes because whenever you're trying to access it, like so, it's going to try to type course and it's going to convert it inside in inside the person object as the property just six. Every single property inside an object is a string and JavaScript is going to try to convert that to a string automatically. All right, so if I try to surround this with single codes or double codes, whatever you prefer, and access it like so, you'll notice that this time it will work because no type coercion actually happened in this case. We actually had a uh, 6.0 as a string and JavaScript was like, well, this is already a string. I don't have to convert it to anything. It's a string, it's fine. We can actually use it. But when we gave it the value 6.0, it actually tried to convert it. It converted it to a, just to this six. And then this guy became the string itself. The string, just the character six in it, right? So as a recap, uh, first things first, dot versus bracket notation. You can always use bracket notation when you want to try to access a value from an object, but you cannot always use a dot notation if that property is not a valid identifier, okay? Second thing is you have to surround with single quotes when you define an object like so, whenever the property is actually uh, not a number literal and not just a string. So we had there six points as a value. And I was, it tried to actually evaluate it. It didn't work and we actually got an error. Okay. And lastly, type coercion always happens when you're trying to use, uh, when you're trying to actually define a property and access it, right? Whenever we try to access this, right? With just 6.0, it would work actually because, well, it's simple. We actually got uh, 6.0 here, it coursed into a string that was uh, converted to six, right? And same thing happened in this case as well. But the property name behind the scenes is actually just six, right, as a string. So remember, whenever you're using square notation or uh, whenever you're defining a property like so. And that's about it. Hope you got something out of this video. Uh, leave the questions down in the comments below or on our Discord server. You have an invitation down in the description. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you next time. Take care.